Today we are looking at one of the scripts under programming with title a cool intro for your scripts. So I call this script as tabular intro. Let's see what this is about. So every time when we write a script, we want to write some introduction. We want to add who created that script, what are the dependencies, by whom it was updated, all such information. So every time if you want to add the information manually, it will be like time consuming, inconsistent with other scripts and it's prone to some errors or you might miss some information. So for that, to solve the problem, I created a script in Python, which asks you some questions for your interaction and you can just answer them and it will arrange in any table. So where is it? It's in this particular uh, GitHub page. I'll leave the link to this page as well as the GitHub page below the like button. So what are the prerequisites required? So as it's written in Python, we definitely need a Python software installed in your machine. And there is one more dependency, uh, a module called tablet is used to frame the table. Uh, but the dependency is included inside a lib folder. So if you clone the entire repository, you don't need to install anything from uh, anywhere. Um, the module you don't need to install it again so we'll look on what's in it and all um, in a moment uh, let's go to the github page and see how that page look like okay so here we are um, this is the github page uh, where this script is hosted so it has the same about what we discussed just now and it has few instructions and there are some screenshots um, there will be some titles you'll be answering those titles and finally you'll see the introduction like this in a table format and you can save that into a file which is already existing or you can save it into a new file so it'll catch that if the file doesn't exist it'll ask you to whether you can create a new file or not or it can add the introduction to the beginning of the existing file we'll look at the future enhancements in some time what are the enhancements that we can do to the script let's jump into the terminal to see the script in action let me go to my repository so once you clone the repository you will see uh, these folders and files a lib folder a license file uh, a readme file which we went through just now and the actual python script so if you look at the lib folder um, we are having the tablet module which we were talking earlier to frame the neat table uh, it has its own license so if you look at the instructions so here the instructions are it's saying run the python script the way you prefer input the details when prompted it'll ask whether you want to save the file to an existing file or create a new file so when you keep your uh, input It'll tag it accordingly, either it will create a new file or it will append the content to the existing file. Or if you want to just look at the terminal, how the data will look like, you can just say and don't save to the file. And just give the full path uh, while you're giving the path to the file to which you want to save to. Um, so it won't cause any issues. So let's jump back to the terminal. So let me clear the screen. So I'll run using the Python keyword tabulate intro. So once you run it, so it's asking to enter the details. So I'll say the script name. So today description English none. So let me give a big line. I'll show you why I'm giving a big line here. So these are the instructions for the script. Date updated, I'll say today. So here uh, we have the prompt. Do you want to save the intro to your file? Yes or no? Let me say no. Uh, let's see what will happen. So here is the table. So when you say no, you'll get a table that will show um, on the terminal but if you want to save that to your file uh, let's run the script again 
I'll speed up the process here. Okay, so here it asks again whether you want to save the script to your file or not. So let's say yes. So when you say yes, it's asked the path uh, including the file name. Uh, let me give a file name which doesn't exist in my folder, in my home folder. New file.txt. So it found out that the file doesn't exist and it says the file doesn't exist. You want to create a new file? Yes or no? I'll say yes. I want new file to be created. So add an intro to the file. So let's see how it's looking from the file. So if you look at the file, uh, here is the intro. It's saved to the new file. So let's try out. Um, so let me do uh, some changes here. So let me so make it bottom. So let's assume uh, we are adding. So this is the file that you want to add again the intro. So let's see how that be. So let me save this. I'm clearing the screen. So let's run the script again. So I'm, I'll speed up this process. So I added all this uh, information. Um, I just gave a different instructions just to identify the one what we added before and what we added now. So it's asking whether you want to save intro to your file. I'll say yes. So it's asking to give the path including the file name. So I'll give the file which we already created, which we saw just now. So now it said just added intro to the file. It didn't ask you the file doesn't exist. You want to create a new file or not because it recognized that the file already exists. Let's see how the file will look like. So if I edit, if I look at this file. So if you look at this one, so the intro it's being added to uh, in the beginning of the script. Uh, it's not in the middle or at the end of the script so it's adding it's added at the beginning of the script which will be helpful because if you already a file which is already existing in your system you might have some data there and you want this introduction to be added to before the data what you have so you can see this uh, the introduction is being added in the beginning so these are the three different kinds that you saw on the screenshot so if i go back to the github page so so this is the one which we can see the interaction in the terminal and you can save to a new file or you can save to an existing file so let me go back to the previous page what we have um i just want to quickly show some of the things which i have used here which might be helpful for you uh, so you can go through this page what's in it um it'll have the clear description of what the script and what are all the internal details the script is having, what are the code and all I have given the detailed explanation here. Uh, so the few things which I just want to discuss here is the using um, usage of the list comprehensions and the zip. So the list comprehensions, this is the part I want to highlight. So usually in Python, uh, I think you might all maybe you might have known so we can use the list comprehensions and we can write in one statement so here um, we usually write the for loop inside the for loop will ask what's the label you want to and we will be adding it into a list or an array so here we all did that in one line one line of code we call it as a list comprehension and the other one which i want to uh, discuss about is the zip so here, if you see, we have two uh, arrays. One is the intro labels and the intro details. So we ask these questions. So if you want to modify any of these things, you can go to the script, you can modify, you can run again, but these are the details or the labels which I want in my script. So I added them here. So if you look at the details, so um, the details, uh, so to, to correlate the input labels and details, I use the zip function. What the zip function will do uh, it'll combine the the position, the same position values of two different or more than two different arrays and give it as a tuples. And I'm converting the tuple into a list or uh, the array of strings. So into the intro details ordered. So 
Uh, just want to let you know about this list comprehensions and the zip uh, that's being used in the script. So, and now going back to the future enhancements. So I have a few future enhancements which I'm planning for. Maybe I'll do um, in future and we can come back to this video again just to discuss on the future enhancement. But so um, giving an option to the user to uh, re-verify all the details entered and modifying the data if required. So um, if we look at the earlier stage, so um, we were just asking and you're giving data and there is no way that you can re-verify and you can re-edit the data which you want to if you give some mistakes if you did some mistake if you did some mistake again you have to do it from the beginning so that's something i just want to enhance in future and adjusting the column length to certain characters instead of adding the longer data in one line um yeah if you look at the previous file so if you increase if you have the instructions uh, the length is more and the instructions will go on single line so I didn't I didn't include it any way that you can um, wrap the text so that's one of my feature enhancements I'm planning for and the last one um, so the tabulate um, so you can find about the tablet module which we used which gave us the table structure um, I, I downloaded it from Pipey um, that's where you can find the modules so there are a lot of flags you can go to this page um, so the link is added to that page you can go to that page so there are a lot of flags so there are different kinds of table formats you can form um, as of now you can look at this particular link and you can adjust the flag um, in that specific script uh, but I'll be adding all these uh, different kinds of table structures into the script um, and uh, this is one of my uh, future enhancements that I'm planning for yeah that's all um, hope this script will help you in some way um, we'll catch up later bye